Alright guys, welcome back to JForce Gaming and today, alright, the reason why I do these videos because um, you know, a few of you guys in the comment section is in either the, the you know, the, uh, the two videos that I did uh, based on Unify products, alright. Uh, one is the AP and setting up the UDM SE and the other one is setting up the Unify Protect video. Alright, in both videos, you guys also asked in the comments like, um, you know, how is it, how is it, how reliable is it, um, ask me can you post, uh, you know, an update on like, you know, is there any issues while I'm using it. You know, in my home, you know, uh, you face any problems or issues and such. Alright, so today I am going to give you an update, alright, one month later, alright, into using the Unify setup, alright, the whole Unify ecosystem, alright, and uh, giving you my feedback if there are any issues with it, what are the changes I've done, done alright, and how, you know, how is it generally overall, you know, monitoring my house, no networking and charge, you know, any problems I face. So today I am going to answer to all of that question and give you my general feedback on how I feel about you using the this unified ecosystem. Alright, so um yeah, so a bit of background story. If you guys haven't watched my past two video of me setting up the UDM SE plus the assess point plus setting up the Unify Protect, alright, you guys can uh, visit the watch the video in the video uh, description down below. All right, I'll link both uh, videos in the description down below of this video. Watch that first before watching this video. All right, but if not, if not you guys um, or you guys can also watch this video if you want to know more how reliable uh, the whole Unify ecosystem is. So um, long story short, I integrated Unify, um, you know their their UDM SE, their Unify ecosystem. All right, a month ago. And uh, until now, currently, honestly speaking, there's not really any issues I have faced using this system. All right, all the system running really, really well. All right, um, just a few updates. All right, so I have uh, did um uh, upgrades. All right, not really an upgrade. I've just added a, a six terabyte. All right, Western Digital hard di uh, hard disk. All right, into the Unify system. All right, it's a triple five hard disk. All right, for basic recordings of the you know the using the Unify Protect cameras to record you know um for my outside and in my house, uh just in case anything happens. But um yeah, but uh watching back the footage, everything looks really good. All right, I only can show you outside of my house because I cannot show you the inside of my house for privacy reasons. All right, but outside everything looks good. All right, I use it to monitor deliveries. Sometimes, you know, when, you know, nowadays all the home deliveries, they will just, you know, leave the items outside if there's no one to collect it. So most of the time, I'll be out, so there's mostly no one at home. And uh, so, uh, you know, they will just leave the item outside. So with a camera, I feel safer and with a recording function, if anyone were to steal it or what, you know, at least it is recorded as proof, you know, and shot or is anyone standing outside, all right? And the best thing is, right, if there's anyone standing outside, all right, um, I can use, open up my Unify Protect app on my phone, all right, or just go onto, onto my desktop, log it in, and see who is standing outside my, uh, my house. Or right, it also can be proven as like a doorbell, uh, um, video doorbell, so I can see who's standing outside if I want to, you know, engage or not. All right, so um, yeah, it's a good thing, and the video footage is really clear, and it, it records probably for six terabyte, it records me about like uh, two weeks plus of footage for both cameras. So I'm using the, uh, both cameras. All right, uh, one is for my inside the house, one is outside. Uh, it records about two weeks plus of footage, two to three weeks ish. All right, um, I both record for the outside one. I record at ten eighty p, but for the inside one, I record at seven twenty p, just to save a bit more months. All right, um, a longer duration where I can record, but both works really really well. All right, there's only one issue which which I have faced is probably um, while you while I was viewing the outside camera. Alright, it has a bit of lag and latency. Alright, and sometimes you know the, the, the footage can get blurry a bit. Alright, um then after that I realized um it's probably the Ethernet cable that I'm using. Alright, because um the Ethernet cable I'm using, I'm mean, just using a random one I found in my house. Alright, um but after that I changed to a better one, a more reliable one. There's um like a Cat 7 or Cat Category 8 Ethernet cable, which um nearly use better quality and you know better finish. Well, and a uh, larger transfer speed and a bigger bandwidth. All right, and after that, I changed the new one. Um, nothing happened. So um, if you are guys are integrating any of the you know Unify system, all right, Ethernet cable also plays a really important part, all right, in the overall ecosystem. All right, so don't cheap out on you know using cheap Ethernet cable. Probably because maybe in the future, right, if you were to like you know wire the Ethernet cable all through your house, all right, and if the Ethernet cable spoils or you know have face some issues or anything. 
you have to change the whole thing which is really hard to change because you have to you know drill some holes or break down something to you know to to, to rewire the whole thing so it's very very uh, troublesome so just invest in a good one all right that can last you for a long time to come all right so uh, yeah don't cheap out internet cables that is one most important thing that i recommend you guys if you guys are integrating any of the unify um ecosystem all right please do not cheap out on the internet cable get a good one reliable one all right that you know can last you a long time and uh, after i change the new one there's no issues at all you start recording normally really fine so um yeah i'm very happy with that and uh, yeah, and let's talk about the, the networking itself. All right, so um, uh, my very first video, I integrated the access points so um, to cater to more devices because my main problem is because of the smart home, I have a lot of smart devices on my home, like all those sensors, lights, you know, all this and that, all right, to work together. All right, and uh, yeah, I have many devices connected, desktop, all running at the same time. So upgrading to the unified access points, all right, not only my uh, internet speed has a really good increase, all right, but sometimes if I will play in like online games and such, all right, it, it dramatically increases the, uh, it de decreases the ping time, all right. So my ping um, greatly reduced, all right, I used to play around like eight, nine pings, all right, it's still very low, but now, Generally, I play around like two pings on CSGO, sometimes even one ping. So it is really, really good. I love it. All right. And um, yeah, on my mobile devices, watching YouTube, all these are very smooth. No buffering, no lags, or, you know, there's no um, connection error or anything. I don't face any issues with the network. So the network is really good, really stable, 99.99% um, .99 uptime based on what is on the dashboard. But I don't see any downtime at all. So yeah, it's to me, it's 100% uptime. So there's no issues at all. And... The best part, the best improvement is smart home devices. All right, so if you guys have a lot of smart home devices, generally I recommend you guys to up to upgrade, right? Uh, to use the Unify AP, it's really really good. So last time when I was using the O one, all right, uh, all my smart home devices are sometimes not really responsive. So sometimes if I like, you know, um, like because I have a Google Assistant, Google Home Mini, am I? In my room for example all right and sometimes if i want to control the lights or control the projector or maybe I play something on netflix using the chromecast all this all right sometimes when i ask like you know uh, hey google something something all right you will just um you will hear what i what my input is but you will not act it out so if i say uh, turn off the lights all right the light is not off or sometimes, you know, when I say turn off light, probably after one, two seconds, the lights turn off. So it's not very instant, all right? It's not very responsive. Sometimes if I say, like, um, play, play for Wednesday on Netflix, all right, on my Chrome, Chromecast, uh, it plays something else or it, it doesn't play at all because, you know, there's the lag in between the network, all right? There's, a, there's a tons of traffic, which is, like, you know, slowing down the network. So yeah, it's a very, very problematic thing if your house is full of, you know, smart devices. But once I change to this, everything looks really, really instant, very solid, right? So you guys can watch this footage over here where I command different um, smart things and you can see uh, how instant it is. Okay, Google, turn my light to green. Okay, Google, turn off the light. Okay, Google. Turn on the light. Okay, Google, set my light to white. Okay, Google, prepare my room for movie. Okay, Google, play One Piece on Netflix. Okay, One Piece from Netflix, playing on bedroom TV. Do you want trouble? Okay, Google. Turn off the projector and turn on the light. Yeah, so you guys can watch that. Everything looks very instant, very fast, really good. I'm really happy with this upgrade, alright? 
uh, and uh, all the smart things in my house all works really well there's no lag at all so every command i say all right it works instantly so there is no any problems at all i am very happy that this solved my problems so yeah highly recommend you guys to upgrade to the unify system if any of you guys all right actually have a lot of smart home devices and your network cannot handle that kind of traffic all right this is the best for you all right? and the best part is i'm only using one of this all right so um probably in the future i have more smart devices i will need to use another one but for now i'm just only using one and can handle so many devices so efficiently without any issues at all so i'm very happy with it all right probably in the future if i start to see any slowdown or what i might change i might add on one more but right now it's just only running on one and it just works so great all right so if you guys have any doubts all right or should you not get the any of the unify ap or anything all right my my answer to this is get it definitely get it it will help in increase one all right not only your internet speed your wi-fi speed all right your bandwidth and as well as you know smart home devices works very seamlessly with one another that's what that's the thing i'm very happy about and the connection is really stable no problem with the connection at all the coverage is really good all right and just with one anywhere in my house all is covered no matter how, behind how many walls i still have a good and stable connection so it's i'm really really happy with that so um yeah i don't have any issues with the access point at all all right and now let's talking about the general the you know the udm se itself all right um the udm se i also don't face any problems at all so after setting up the unify protect i really don't really do any configurations to it no no really much configuration except except finding out like my the the camera is start to you know acting weird you know it's like something become blurry or something the footage is stuck all this after i changing the the cat cable i didn't really do any configuration to it so it it, it is and it is all right and sometimes all right so i have um, do a setting so the automatic schedule update when there is an update all right during when you know me uh, everyone is sleeping in the house so um probably like around 3 4 a.m that timing you if there's an update they will schedule the update on its own uh, at around 3 4 a.m so uh, everything is all handled automatically uh, i didn't mess around with the settings so sometimes i just want to view the footage or see the recordings i just log on and see the recordings so i um, don't have any issues with it generally and um yeah overall it works just as it should work okay and um yeah and with the unify protect app unify app i can also remotely uh, view it or control it using the app on my smartphone no matter where i am outside the house or anywhere all right, i am able to you know control it so the controls function all re works really well uh until now i have no issues no complaints with it so um yeah it's a really really a stable device and yeah so this is about my one month update right, of using the unify ecosystem and generally speaking i am as a customer myself i am super super um satisfied with the quality and the reliability of the whole unify ecosystem i'm very happy with it and probably next time i might upgrade to more adding more cameras adding a you know smart doorbell and such also from unify so um yeah but for now i'm very happy with it no, i don't face any issues that probably i need to contact support or whatever all right everything runs really well the whole udm se runs also very quiet and um you know not very hot or just slightly warm but you know it still stays cool not overheating no have any issues about that as well and uh yeah that's one thing you guys have to keep in mind if you are getting this one get a good uh LAN cable or right, ethernet cable sorry ethernet cable all right but um other than that really nothing much i can complain about so as a customer i can safely say that i'm very satisfied with it and if you are thinking of getting into the unify ecosystem or any of the unify um additional uh ap or cameras all this and that definitely get it all right they won't disappoint you everything just works so seamlessly as you can see on my other two set of video it just plug and play all right they automatically detects and you know you are you are okay to go already all right you just you if you are more tech savvy one you want to adjust all the settings all this is there for you to adjust so it's not limited to any of the you know each things so personally no complaints very satisfied all right and um yeah i see a huge improvement in my everyday life at my house with all the smart devices with my network so um yeah i'm very happy with my new and improved lifestyle so if you guys are you know um trying to improve your whole home all right highly recommend you guys to go out, go with this compared to any other brands out there because any other brands out there they do offer a similar solution but they cost way more 
and Unify has a really good support system. So if you have any problem with it, you know, they are there for you. And um, yeah, the cost is like uh, half the price cheaper than any other competitors out there. So um, so yeah, so if you guys are out there looking for any of a good integrated home solution for network or cameras or home security system, definitely go with the Unify itself. All right, so uh, yeah, so that is my one month conclusion review. All right, um, updates on the Unify ecosystem. And uh, yeah, if, if, if I face any issues in the future or anything, I might do another video for it. But for now, everything is really good and I have no complaints at all. So um, yeah, so that is my today. This is my one month plus update on the whole Unify system itself. So yeah, that's all the guys. If you find this video really helpful and really interesting and help you deciding on which one to get, definitely give it a thumbs up and comment down below all right, how this video makes you, you know, decide on your purchasing choice. So that's all for today guys and this is JForce Gaming and I shall see you guys in my next video. Peace out. I don't wanna cry.